in the morning we were simply talking i don't know how many of you are understanding periodic table you know hydrogen no it's a notorious element and sodium is called terrorist element no oxygen also can blow up can be explosive chlorine can be toxic it can kill you and few people took it also and died but the same chlorine which is so toxic when it comes together with sodium it becomes sodium chloride right if you leave the sodium metal outside in the air it will blow it will explode the same explosive element combines with chlorine which is so poisonous they come together and become a salt a life giving salt without which we cannot exist same thing with hydrogen and oxygen both are explosive but two explosives come together they give water of life if sodium can be calm down and chlorine can calm down and become a life giving salt to the rest of the world why not two living entities despite of differences that is what i mean by harmony two explosives is coming together and yet create a harmony to the extent that it gives life to the rest of the universe kindly think over this how we can complement non complementary affairs are always going to create discord when we complement each other despite of differences we will be able to create harmony there is nothing else in life to be learned Dr. Adizis in one of his management talks was saying, he said, look at these five fingers, are they equal? If they were equal, you wouldn't be able to function properly. When we do meditation properly, what generally, first fundamental thing that happens is, you know, again, relating this periodic table, the outermost orbit of electron, as long as it remains equal, unsaturated unsatisfied it will always look for borrowing of another electron or electrons from another element they come together meditation fulfills that need of not looking for another being to fulfill your needs fulfilling your outer unsaturated orbit is fulfilled by the master's transmission it integrates us it harmonizes us it saturates us it gives us contentment having contentment then you don't look around with hungry eyes i want this i want that everything will be so taut so my only suggestion a humble request if you are not practicing properly please don't miss a day without meditation and go on refining your meditation and it must spill over beyond that half an hour to such an extent that it becomes 24/7 then you don't need to meditate and when you are in a meditative state 24/7 where is the need for cleaning then practice drops out for good and for a good thing otherwise we will keep on slogging half hour in the morning half hour in the evening Who knows how long it will go on.